This is an unbalanced trim and this is a balanced trim control wall. Do you notice any difference between them? The answer to it is no. The actual amazing thing lies inside the control wall. Let us understand the working between both of these cases. Let us take this example of an unbalanced valve. So here's your cage plug in seat assembly. The flow is going from the inlet to the outlet. And here you have the force P1 which is acting from the fluid. On the other side there is force P2 from the actuator. Let us understand this amazingly with an example of a seesaw. So here imagine you have your plug and the seesaw has from one side the pressure which is P1 or the force which is acting from the fluid. On the other side what is there to balance it? The answer to it is nothing else except the force of the actuator. But let us see a balanced design now. In a balanced design, one of the most amazing thing is this simple hole. What it does is when the flow is flowing, it will also go to the opposite side of it. So here, let's imagine this is the force P1 acting and here this force P2 acting. So if you take the same example of seesaw, on one side is the fluid force acting P1, but on the other side, approximately the same force which is P2 is acting on the trim. Now what happens here is actuator has to put very little force in order to move the plug assembly. Now if you notice here you might think that okay we should always go for a balanced design right but that is not the case. Why? Let's look at that. So in an unbalanced trim if you look from the fluid flow there is only one leakage path that you can get but compare that to an balanced design because there is flow flowing through it from the hole there are two leakage path that is possible and this is one of the biggest drawbacks of a balanced trim design. So Another point to be noticed is that in a flow direction for fail to open you would have to go from downward in order for the flow to push the plug in an open position. However, for a balanced design it has to be in the opposite direction. Now the final verdict which is what is the when to use what. So in a regular application you would be usually going for an unbalanced design almost 90% of your applications. Why? Because of the leakage considerations. If you have extremely high DP and you might not want an actuator with such high torque then you would go for a balanced trim on the case that you are okay with the leakage considerations. I hope you have liked the video. Please subscribe so we can meet next Saturday and learn something new again. Thank you and have a great day ahead.